guys, yes, uh, Dangly Bob here. It's been a while since I uh, recorded anything, but uh, Astroneer has come out of its, uh, what you call it, phase, its pre-access phase, and now is a full game in its own right. They have changed quite a bit to it. This lovely graphic they've got at the beginning here, plus a tutorial, which I'm not going to play because, uh, I don't know, perhaps you need to play it, perhaps you don't need to play it. It depends if you've played before. I'm just going to jump straight in, and uh, if I really get any problems, I'll perhaps go back and play the tutorial. But, no, it's a lovely graphic, nice. Uh, you can come up here to and sort of start a new game. Oh, hang on, come back up here, I'll show you. Here we've got a co-op game if you wanted, or uh, the Astropedia helping bits, which uh, you can come into. Uh, that's all available from this front menu here. Uh, or you can go exit, and uh, so, yeah, we're just going to jump straight in and start a new game like this. And I'm going to go for uh, inactive, inactive, inactive. Shall we go for? I want well, to go for a retro suit. And we'll also go for. Let's go for a fuchsia. Fuchsia's sort of my colour here. Uh, visor colour, uh, silver or gold. Let's stick the silver. And uh, oh, look, some emotes. Oh, I can change the emotes. Well, I won't get into the emotes. This is going to be the single. Perhaps we fuck get one of our mates across so we can uh, have a quick go with the game. Excuse me, you can probably tell I've got a little bit sort of deep voiced, uh, a little bit Barry Whitey. I've got a bit of a, a cold going on here. I'm going to try and obviously phase out any coughs, uh, any unpleasant sounds which uh, I get, but uh, hence the, the deep voice at the moment. So we we'll just go straight for the game. Go on, launch. Perhaps we want to launch. Confirm these settings, start your adventure. Yes. There we go. I can see the intro sequence is a little bit different as well. Uh, well, a little bit different, you know. It's yeah. We start off with a little uh, pod podule. Yes, uh, of little module pod podule. Go on, land on. Now this looks a little interesting. Remember seeing trees. It's very green, isn't it? It's very earth-like. Automatically, I can see. It doesn't matter that. Well, it does matter actually. That's it. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Straight up. Straight up. Ended up on the roof. Okay. Thankfully, I was going to end up inside then. I don't think it's. Uh, can we get inside? I've pointed it. Here we go. F. Enter. Okay, that's a save game. Oh, look at my suit, though. Isn't that pink? And the retro suit. Apparently, this is uh, when the game was really, really early access. Even before I played it, we had a sort of suit with an all-round head on, like that. That's what we've got there. Uh, just have a quick look around for the minute. And it says a wreck over here. Let's come on over, strap a quick look at this, remembering that. Uh, built anything yet. Some interesting looking plants with fruit I can't pick. Uh, oh, I'd have got a, a thing dig down inside. So a quick look to see if there's anything in here. Can't see the yes, well, look at that straight away we're already on to let's go come out that way. Let's uh, a thing. Oh, there's one more in there. Uh, some copper. Oh, that might be really useful. Uh, early game. We'll see what we can grab. Right, let's top right. Uh, thingy up. Thingy air tank, you know, oxygen tank. That's what I mean. Let's so have a quick look at out here. Uh, some compound over here. Immediate. It's, uh, it's also, game's prompting me to it's a bit of a hole there. I think it is just a hole, but nothing in it as such. Well, there's uh, I thought this was compound over here. Oh, it's a funny plant over there. Go investigate that in a bit later. Oh, there's another another wreck over here. Let's dash over here and have a quick look. Down a half. Let's uh, have a quick squint in here. I've got time to go down the inside. But, uh, come back to that later. Some uh, organic, and uh, yeah, I need to head back to base. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to die on my very first 
Come on, sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. Come on. Don't fall down the hole. That'd be really... Oh, I need to connect to the base, not to the... Um, pad thing. Right, so we need to... Let's... Let's... Examine this. Initialise a card. Gives us three little... Uh, oxygenator, which I haven't... Don't think I've seen one of these before. A uh, medium printer. Excellent. A starting platform. So we we'll definitely need the starting platform. Let's... Uh, let's, well, let's put that... Here. This is going to be need to be the printer. I'm going to unpack that. Printer on top of it. Unpack that. That's flattened it out, actually. Oh, I can move it. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, let's put a bit of power onto it. Drag a power cable in. Plug that in there. Oh, that's not the printer. That's, that's the oxygenator. Okay. Well, let's shove that. Let's shove that over there for the minute. Do all that for this printer. Definitely going to need a printer. So let's put it there. Okay. That's fair enough. We'll unpack it there then. Bingo. And now I need to go and get. Well, I need to go and get some resin. So uh, there is some resin. What's compound I saw over here? Resin over there. Right. Ooh, package item required. Okay. Uh, put that in there. Come on, will it snap? It will snap, so I've put the oxygenator already in there. It's doing anything. It provides oxygen flow to power to tether. to tethers. Ah. Oh. Okay, so we'll probably need to make some tethers and need to power to them. Excellent. Okay, so I've been having a bit of a look around, and uh, you know, I've got this, this oxygen generator thing which I've just chucked in there because it seems to fit. But there's this other thing here that I've doesn't you can't do anything with that. You click on it, it doesn't come out. So um, yeah, I haven't quite figured out that is. Anyway, what we need is some resin and normally some compounds. Let's just grab some of this. Search chamber, large printer, large platform. So I probably want a large platform and a research centre. So let's oh, large printer as well. So let's do one of those. It takes a fair amount of resin. That does. Uh, see it going up like that. Actually, just another thought. Right, let that finish doing that in a minute. I'm going to take this out of here. I'm just going to stick it. Oh, I'll just stick it on there for a minute. I haven't quite figured out what it's for yet. But, as I keep saying, God, that's not very. I think this thing over here. This has got something to do with power. I'm fairly certain it's power because it's yellow. And, uh, right, so a large platform. Let's put that over. Let's stick it over there for the minute. Oh, uh, unpack it. And we'll come around here. And 
I was going to see if does the printer fit in here. It does, but it doesn't doesn't deploy. It doesn't give me the yeah. It doesn't do that. So oh, let's chuck that back in there for the minute because I really don't know what else to do with it. Uh, let's chuck that into there and want to make a. Well, I suppose we can make a big printer. Printer or research chamber. Let's go for printer. Requiring three compound. And actually, I'll probably yeah, pick up that much compound or resin. So let's great daylight coming up. So let's go and click some more compound a bit there. Let's just zoom out a little as well, give a better overview. Digging away into the side of the hillside here quite nicely. There's four of those. Over to the resin as well. Oh, come on, don't get stuck behind that rock with your long, lanky legs. Uh, is there some more resin in here? Yeah, there's a bit more there, so. You really see a lot in there. Any more, or is that it? stuff now, so find the big hole. I suppose we could go across that wreck in a minute. Right, let's get that big printer. Yeah. Let's put that big printer there. And print that out. Right. Let's have a quick look at what we've got available here. A uh, big shelter. Oh, a shelter. Oh, it needs silicon. Right, okay, so actually my big printer is not of use. I need to research a few other bits and pieces here. So tethers. Oh, I definitely need some tethers. Why haven't I thought about making tethers before? There we go. Make some tethers. In fact, we, mm, uh, let's just dump some of this stuff. Clay. I have no idea. Copper. I probably need in a bit. Uh, let's make some tethers. Put some resin up there. Let's bring that down here. Let's go put the tethers up on that spike there. Okay, what else have we got available here? Oxygen filters. Oh, definitely need a canister. Use up my last resin. Need the canisters for sort of terraforming the formy stuff. Let's put that down there. Let's put the canister upon. Oh, went. There we go. Snap it up there. Easier to see if it's full. I know there's a little thing on the end you can see, but I like seeing it fill up. Uh, yeah. Don't ask me what's going on behind me. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, what else we got? Oh, work light. Ah, now hang on, I have a copper. Right, that is really useful. So let's. The rest of the family is, is having a shrieking match behind me, apparently. But we'll try to ignore them. Right, so with a canister, I'll be able to fill in this hole. Punks, I know I'm going to fall down it in a minute, so I need to fill up a canister. And. Uh, yeah, I don't think there was anything else here, was there? No. no that's the, the other wreck. Oh, hang on. No, no. <laughs> Getting all excited there. Wow, look at this. That is a big crevice. Oh, I was messing around around here. Why didn't I see that in the dark? Just as well, really. Right, let's come back this way. It's fun little bushes. No research on those. Right. Oh, actually, there's some big holes there as well. Are these holes just appearing? That's a little worrying if they are appearing. I don't remember that hole being there either. So, right, okay, well, let's, let's use these tethers and head this way. And head towards, come on, run. Oh, too far away. There we go. Uh, head towards this wreck here, we'll scavenge that. What was this? Some of it. I wonder if that was clay. Uh, let's do a tether there. Yeah, really sorry about the family. I could shout at them, but there we go. Life of a YouTuber, or a streamer, or anyone. Particularly if they share a house with a bunch of other people, albeit your own 
children. Right, let's come down here. Can I see? I suppose I can zoom in and see what's inside of here. Side, but I really don't want to leave myself without. Let's put a tether in here. Um, may be able to get into here now. Right, right there we go. Let's empty all this lot out. See the tree trunks there, that's rather cool. This up a little bit. The seat I might as well leave in here to be honest, so I can't see I'm using a seat for a minute. Myself a rover, but at least I know the seat. Oh. All right. Yeah, no. Point it. In. Tell me it's a seat. Tell you what, let's put the seat outside. There you are. I'll probably block my way out now. How am I doing for? Let's go and top up with a little bit of. There we go. Now back into here. Let's have a look around. There was something up. I can't actually. See it. Oh, my gosh, you could go first person view, but I can't. There is something up in the roof here, but I can't see what it is. I suppose I could blindly try and. Oh, I can't reach up there to click it. Let's go. Tweaky, tweaky, tweaky. No, lose the view there. Oh, there we go. Now, that, I believe, is. No, it won't let me pick it up either now. Oh, this is really annoying. Let's come round this way. If I can get a glitch through the screen. Ah. Oh. Right, here we go, here we go. There, now I think it's just those three, because they're diametrically opposed to that. Let's just grab us up below two. There we go. That little work light makes a lot of difference when you're trying to work around like this. Well, I can see inside. I'll stay here. Yeah, that's that's opposite. The, there's only two spits there. Two there. So I don't think there's anything else in there apart from the seat, which I think I said we'll leave here. Don't forget it's here. Night's fallen again. And I have now got a new... or a full canister, so I can f patch these holes in. It's only this one here. Yeah. Worrying if they just appear. Now, let's just flatten this ground out then. That. There we go, that's that hole filled in. Uh, not too worried about that hole over there. Anything near the base I am, definitely. Um, what will I pick up there then? That there, I think, is lithium. Oh, it's graphite. It's not lithium. Uh, a bit of organic. Let's put that down there. A bit of ceramic, which uh, yeah, is clay-based. Uh, a bit of copper ore. And that's copper ore as well. So I need. And uh, actually, what I need, what I desperately, well, I say desperately need, I probably need some resin. Uh, yeah, because I want to make a couple more platforms and I need some resin for that. That requires going a bit further afield. But we haven't really gone over them this way, so... How many tethers have I got? I think I am out of tethers. So... Let's build some more... Tethers. Small generator, small printer. Did I make a small printer yet? Uh, uh, let's make a small printer. This makes compound. Attach that to. What if I could put the small printer on the side here where the big printer wouldn't work? Put that in. Pick it up. Go in there. No, it's just a, it's just a nice little storage unit. Okay, let's put that back in there. It still seems to work, whatever that does. Ah, yes. No, did you see that? If I put that down there, these tethers don't get connected. If I put that in there, these tethers now are connected. In fact, you, know, you get power. Ah, oh, I see. Yep. Okay, so I can tether to this now because there's oxygen to it. 
So you need to install that either in here. Uh, I'm not going to assume it works if you put it on a different platform, but let's let's yeah, let's assume it works if you put it in a different platform. Don't really want to carry the small printer around. printer on the side of that one. Let's have a quick look at... no, put that away. Look at the printer. Okay, so medium storage, medium platform, uh, need some resin, medium printer. We've got a medium printer and a rover seat. Well, we already have a rover seat, so I don't need that either. So I am going to uh, make some tethers, which I keep saying, let's make some tethers, and never do, so I'm going to get some tethers. I'm going to explore over that one a little bit. I quite like the look of those plants though. So, but, there we go. Oh, too far away. There's a, an exploration tether line out on the side of the trees here, I think. Like this. What's over? Oh, look at this. Uh, a wreck. Oh, and oh, some more goodies. Right. A uh, small solar generator, well, that'll be useful. And some debris, okay. Salvageable debris, salvageable junk item too big. Okay, uh, solar. Just, ah, uh, there's something else over there as well. Oh, uh, some research. Let's grab some of that. These things, are they. will they hurt me? I suppose it's a bit one way to find out. <coughs> Be chump. Uh, I didn't see the pink screen, so I don't know whether that took damage or not, but probably not a good idea to walk next to them. But, uh, let's go connect to my tether again. Go and have a look at this thing over the other way. I'll come back and dig that out in a minute, but I'll have a look at what's over here. Oh, that's a research item. Oh, brilliant. Uh, well, I haven't built myself a research um, station generator thing yet. I can hear something. I don't know what that is. Ah, that looks like a working solar panel. Search over that way. Still need some resin. Ooh, it's coming back this way. Chuck it over the hill there. Right. I think that was all that's over there. Some more compound. Zoom out a little. That's my problem. And it's getting dark again. Let's have a squint down here. Maybe we'll get another tether here. Get this out and have a quick look at this side. Some more copper. Uh, some more ceramic. More copper. Okay. 
Okay, for copper. Is it because it's dark? This is a power. Uh, no, have on it just for luck. Battery. side but I cannot see it. Okay. Um, well I suppose I'm gonna try to see if I can get it to shift again. Let's um move some of this. Yeah it's gonna fall over. These generally weren't particularly movable before. Ah what's that? Yeah, there's an empty hole in that side. empty hole on that side. So I think that one's empty now, but uh, slightly concerned that, uh, yeah, got, got the spaces on the weapon uh, terrain tool thing to not put this sort of thing. So, get three or four resin come back and get some more if I need to. Requires more power or something? Don't know. Anyway, let's head back to base, make a couple of bases, make up a research tool, a research station, and do something with that. Uh, let's, let's just put him there for the minute. Uh, that, uh, that he says, I'm going to. All these extra resources going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of, of extra storage units. Uh, let's put that. No. Okay. So if I put this here, it becomes its own little station. That's useful. Or I can just connect it to that. That's useful as well. Right. Okay. Uh, Keep the battery there for the minute. Actually, no. I'm going to put the battery. Let's put the battery there because um, until I get power problems, then I know I've got a battery. But until then, we'll use it to use the base stuff. And I've got all this extra resin, so let's have a quick look at my little printer, which for some reason wants to. Okay, let's take that, put it over there. Do you know? Ah, oh, the little printer. Printer is quite happy on his own little base. So, well, let's make that a. Let's connect that to a power supply as well, then. Look at that, you don't need a base. Can I do that with the big printer as well? Does it need to be on a base? Yes. Yeah, that one needs to be on a base, the little one doesn't. So, let's have a quick look at the little printer again. Medium platform. Resin, except. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right, let's take the cable plug off. Let's put that. Oh, crikey. Can I turn them around? Well, there we go. 
So let's put that here. Hope it points the right direction. And then connect the plug. Grab that plug. There we go. Click that onto there. Right now, oh, it still wants to point it that way. That is not the most useful thing you can do. Alright, go there. Now build it that way then. Plug. Clip. Right, medium platform. One resin. Go. And then this one here. Come on. This one. Large. That's printing a large printer I've already printed. Research chamber. I probably want. Research model needs a bigger base than that. So let's put that there. And research chamber, large printer, large platform A. That's a medium platform, large platform. This is only building a shelter at the moment. If it's only building a shelter, do I really need to keep the printer there? Save that then, put that on there, and unpack that. Turn out to me to put this, this little medium, little printer here now, and I can use it to power up, well, power the base full stop. Uh, let's put that onto there. So that's the research. First research underway. Um, probably could do with a few more of these little medium platforms to serve the all. Get back on there. Do you go onto a wall? You sort of you went onto a medium platform, really. Put you back onto a. Yeah, you do work on a medium platform. Yeah, you do work on that, but the way I thought you were going to. Excuse me. Let's put you back over here. Keep my manufacturing stuff all together. That would be really useful. And I want to make. Where is it? It's not on that one. It must be the little one. Storage platform because otherwise I'm going to lose all these resources the first storm that runs through. We haven't had one yet. Uh, medium platform, medium printer, medium storage. Here you go. So got, this is my last two resin as well. So well, that's building. Let's come and have a look over here. Actually, I need some, some of this as well. So I'm going to collect some resin. 